So Masao Marayuma, who is the co-founder of Studio Mappa and Studio Madhouse, recently published an article in which he states that from his perspective, anime has been on a creative decline. And this is very interesting because he is one of the OGs in the industry, you could say. He has founded multiple studios and his love for anime is sure to be immense. And honestly, uh, if his opinion is that anime has been less creative then I think that's something we should consider and I got to thinking as well. So let's answer the question, has the anime become less creative? And my answer to that is that it depends. It's not a simple yes or no answer and obviously I'm tackling this from the perspective of the consumer and not someone who produces anime but I've been consuming anime for around 10 years and as someone who has experienced the evolution of anime and the growth of anime I think I can tackle this question somewhat. So the main reason why Maruyama thinks that anime has been on a creative decline is because of the popularization of anime and therefore the commercialization. Now this is obviously a really interesting question. Now first off Obviously, if anime is getting more popular, we will get more anime. However, if anime is getting more popular, that means the industry is getting bigger, there's more money flowing in, and therefore it piques the interest of bigger organizations, bigger and bigger, which then leads to more commercialization. However, it has to be noted that there is a point between that, and it's that we are getting more anime. So if you were to ask me, there were more trash anime in a season nowadays than from 10 years ago, I would answer yes, that's true. But at the same time, if you were to ask me, is there a decrease in really good anime over the years? I would say no as well. And I think that is bad news. Not good, bad news. Because you have to think that all this money is pouring in. The anime sector has been growing five times overseas, but the amount of great anime that we've, we've been getting is the same than from 10 years ago. And this is not because there is a lack of great manga to be adapted. In my opinion, it's because of a totally different reason. And before we get into this reason, let's for a moment understand why I'm covering this video. And it's because not only Marayuama's article, but because so many people keep throwing this term around like trash isekai, this trash stereotype, this, this trash anime topic. But I think we have to realize for a moment why there are so many isekais and why there are so many tropes in anime in general. First up, because of the culture. Obviously, we have built our culture in the anime community around these iconic stereotypes. And stereotypes can be good. However, in the case of isekai, it has been overdone. It looks like an isekai is just here for a quick cash grab. Now, why are there still then so many isekais being produced even if the community hates them? Well, that's because even though it produces lesser numbers, it still kind of sells. It doesn't sell as good as the greats of the season, a random isekai could never sell the same as Chainsaw Man. However, compare this with a random avant-garde manga that could become a masterpiece and the risk is just not worth it. So instead as putting all their eggs in one basket and hoping that it kind of grows, it kind of becomes a special anime, they won't do that because the main focus of the company is always the money. So that's why just going with an isekai is the more straightforward and the more risk-free opinion. And companies in general don't like risk taking, especially Japanese companies. So you will see isekai a long, long, long time until there's just no interest at all around it and a new mainstream topic comes around. Let me elaborate on that actually. So now we established that getting isekai is just a commercially right thing to do for a company because it's less risk free, but it won't get generate a lot of income enough though to get some money in. The only way we can defeat isekai in that sense is if there is another enemy coming out with a revolutionary trope that fills in the shoes for isekai. Keep in mind though, this will be the next annoying isekai, the next annoying moe blob. We can never escape this reality. As long as for producing an anime, 
The main focus is the money and not the quality of the product in itself. And this will always be the case in our economic system. So we can do anything about it. Think of it as in the Marvel movies of anime, right? They're kind of just the same, but they also work. However, I don't really think that producing a generic isekai for you as an animator makes you happy because you don't really leave the mark on the industry. But it's better than you know, going broke because your anime doesn't sell and our economic system doesn't support the creative struggle of creating something really diverse and not covering the risk if it fails. Now, another question. Very interesting. Should you shame people who support Isekai? Again, I, I don't think so at all. Because at the end of the day, if Isekai, you know, is not here anymore, then we'll just get Isekai 2.0. So is there any solution to this? Well, I think the only way to get over this problem is to change how uh, creating anime and the economics around anime work in general. And that just is impossible, especially because it's not only anime dependent, it's like I said, dependent on how money is made in general. However, if there's a serious uh, manga that you really, really enjoy and that you think that it's too niche to become an anime ever then the best thing that you could do right now is just to support it in the sense that you should share it with everyone you know and making youtube videos around them like someone who is talking right now <laughs> Yes, me. <laughs> also, I don't really want to make this video as a kind of rant. I am still really, really satisfied with where anime is heading right now. One thing that I forgot to mention, though, is um, that this video may come across as saying anime getting more popular is a bad thing. I don't think so at all. In fact, I think, yeah, we get many trash isekai as the byproduct of anime getting more popular and having more money therefore. But you have to consider that even though we're getting all this trash isekai, the good anime that we get out of it have increased budgets and have five times the budget in fact than the great anime, the great manga adaptations that we had from 10 years ago. That's why Chainsaw Man looks so fucking beautiful. Also, it's not all around the money. Obviously, it's also because the animation studios exploit their workers to death. And therefore, the animation looks great because for every single frame, they have to work overtime, Jesus Christ. But still, the fact that we get such crazy animation is also because there's more money to be made. All in all, I don't really want this video to become something negative. I, I am really satisfied with where anime is heading right now. Even though we're getting all this trash isekai, the amount of great anime is still insane. It's not at all like we have in the West with Netflix releasing one great show every fucking a third of a year. So having at least three great anime in one season is already a blessing. And I'm really, really happy for that. Having said that, the fact that there is a possibility of getting more great anime excites me. This this video was maybe a bit less structured than the other ones because I didn't really go by script. I really wanted to sound more natural this time because it's a topic that comes from the heart. However, if you enjoyed the video anyways, let me know by giving this video a like and subscribing. Thank you so much for joining in and tell me your opinion on this very interesting topic down below.